Good morning and welcome to this Friday edition of GMNC. I'm Patricia Singh and I'll be your anchor this morning. And we have an exciting lineup just for you. Firstly, we'll be headed off to the weather and surf report so you can plan your day. Then we'll head back here to chat to the wise and wonderful Tony Subramani, who will provide our inspiration for the weekend. Then we get all sporty with Matt. He'll let you know what's on the front for this weekend's sports. On the seat, we'll have Joshua Daniels, and he has a guest this morning. They will take it up a notch on the serious front, telling us about their recent initiatives and how we can help them. Mike Mason from Sugar Ruts will be on the show and we'll chat to Mike regarding all things Hola Trails, bike rides and the terrible heat that we've been having in February. It's the weekend, so stay tuned for the weekend vibes. We'll tell you all about what's coming up this weekend. Santos Khan from The Drive Times is our last guest on the show this morning, full of excitement as usual. We will end off the show with a music video from Gian Krun. So stay tuned, it promises to be a good one. Thank you to Performance Coffee, authorized dealer for Dura Coffee Machines and um, Salt Truck Coffee as our morning show sponsors. For coffee, we cannot do without you guys. So stay tuned, here is the weather and surf report. I'll see you back here. Good morning everyone and welcome to your weather for today brought to you by Belito Gas and Prime. Today will be humid with sunshine and patchy clouds with a high of 30 degrees and a low of 22 degrees. The real fill will be 37 degrees and the real fill shade 33 degrees. We have an east south easterly wind at 9 km per hour and wind gusts at 26 km per hour. Also, just 15% chance of showers today. The sunrise will be at 5.33 am and the sunset at 6.46 pm. Pretoria, meestal zonnig daar vandaag, aangenomen weer with a half 29 degrees and a low of 18 degrees. And then Joburg, also mostly sunny and pleasant there today with a half 25 degrees and a low of 13 degrees. And then Cape Town, also a nice day with plenty of sunshine with a high of 23 degrees and a low of 18 degrees. Enjoy your weekend and we'll see you again next week. Welcome back to GMNC. With me in studio, we've got our amazing Tony Supermani. Tony, good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm great. How are you doing, Tony? Good. It's always awesome sharing the couch with you. Thank you so much. Tony, so tell us a bit of our topic of inspiration this morning. Yeah, the, the topic that I want to share with the viewers this morning is the, the fact that one of the biggest obstacles we have in our lives is ourselves. True. Very you know? true. Yeah. So this morning, I want to ask the viewers to get out their own way. Okay. You know? Uh, get out of your own way simply means getting standing aside and watching your success roll over, you know. Very often we stand in the way and we expect things to happen for us and to us, but it is not possible because yeah. we are the obstacle that's standing there. And I just want to unpack this topic with the viewers so that we can get to understand how simple it can be just to get out of the way. And I think sometimes the fear of want, not wanting to get out of the way is more powerful than actually getting out of our way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We, we kind of wonder what's going to happen if we don't have hold on certain things in our life and certain experience and certain uh, people in our lives. And, you know, we think we're going to crush. But yeah. it's not, not, not so. One of the ways is actually getting to do it. Whatever you plan to do, go ahead and do it. You know? Um, very often we say that with the first steps are the most difficult step. But if they're not taken, then the notion of progress is only a notion and not an accomplishment. I hear you. You see? Yes. So we're not putting action into that as well too. The other thing we have to embrace is our strengths. And that's so common a problem that we tend to have. It's a challenge we have. We don't look at our strengths. We can identify strengths in other people, yeah. but we very seldom identify our own strengths. Yeah. And I want to encourage the viewers that from now on, identify and, and, and expand on your own strengths rather than looking at our weaknesses and rolling in that day in and day out. Yeah. The other thing is try to minimize self-talk, the negative self-talk especially. 
because that if we don't take control of terror, it just gets wilder and wilder and louder and louder. And you kind of get caught in this deep rut, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Yes, and eventually you don't know where to turn, where to go, because you're just stuck in this rut with all the negative talk that you've allowed yourself to be yeah. part of, you see. The, the other thing that is very, very important is to get to know your, your inner world. Now, some time ago I talked of the, we live in two worlds at the same time. We live in the outer world and we live in the inner world. The outer world is all that we have around us, the weather, the economy, the people we interact and our experiences. Our inner world is the happiness, the joy, the bliss, and all of that that we are naturally born with. Yeah. And I want to encourage the viewers that from now on, connect with that inner world. And strengthen that so that we look at the happiness and joy and bliss and all of that that is naturally abundantly available within us. And when we start to connect, that divine light within us gets brighter and brighter. And how, how wonderful it is to share that with people rather than having to attract all the negativity that's all around us as well too. Yeah. The, the other thing that kills our goals and our aspirations is this overthinking. Oh my goodness, it just goes on and on and on. And on. You know, we're all yeah, guilty. Yeah. But I want to suggest that we can actually get to terms with that day by just starting off, doing things in a small way and, and, and celebrating the success of little things. You know, it's eat the elephant. And how do you do it? It's just bite-sized chunks every day. And celebrate those successes we, we have by actually seeing the little things that are unfolding and unpacking in our lives as well. One of the other things that we can look at as well is to embrace and enjoy self-care. You know, when you start taking care of yourself and you're looking good, you start feeling good. When you start feeling good and looking good, people are saying, wow, look at you now. And you want to just continue feeling that way. I mean, I often tell them, someone says, you're looking absolutely divine and beautiful. And, you know, you feel so good about that. And yeah, you say, well... It's a confident boost, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, and it's natural, it's free of charge. Why not grab it? <laughs> there we go. You know? yeah. So a lot of us have actually gone through, maybe we've set up these New Year resolutions and never got to terms of doing it. So the other thing is don't be hard on yourself. Mm -hmm. Forgive yourself. And how often do we forget to do that? No, we don't do that. You know? We don't no, do that. We, we actually have a misconstrued and a misinterpretation of what the word forgiveness is. And we live by that misinterpretation that forgiveness means we can't forgive ourselves. We've wronged, we've messed up. Every one of us has actually messed up. But we need to forgive ourselves. Self-forgiveness is crucial in order to ensure that we can get out, of, get out of our way. So when we get out of our way, that's the way we're going to see success, joy, and the absolute happiness in our life. That's my message for the, the viewers. Thank you, Tony. I mean, the most difficult thing is to get out of your own head, isn't it? Yeah. And to take control, because you're scared of that rejection. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we worried about is what's yeah. going to happen if we reject yeah. it. And, you know, what would happen? Will the world fall apart? It hasn't fallen apart yet and it's not going to happen soon. Oh, Tony, what a lovely message for this Thank inspiration you. this morning. Thank you once again. Your wise words always, always, I mean, carry me through for the week. Thank so I can you. just imagine what it does to the viewers as sure. well. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. We're going to go into an ad break. And then after the ad break, we've got Mark Mason from Sugar Rats Club. <laughs>
Morning sports fans, let's kick it off with some football news and in the Premier League, Manchester United surged 12 points clear at the top of the Premier League with a 2-0 win against Brentford, while Tottenham's top four bid suffered a blow in a dramatic 3-2 loss against Southampton on Wednesday evening. In other results from Wednesday, Aston Villa and Leeds playing to exciting 3 all draw and Norwich City and Crystal Palace playing to a one all draw. In weekend fixtures, selected that is to look forward to coming up on Saturday at 2.30, it's Man United against Southampton. At kicking off at 5 p.m. it's Everton against Leeds United and the late game at 7.30 it's Norwich City against Man City. In matches to look forward to on Sunday at 4 p.m. it's Newcastle United against Aston Villa. Also kicking off at 4 p.m. it's Burnley against Liverpool as well as Spurs against Wolves. In the late game on Sunday at 6.30 it's Leicester City against West Ham. In some midweek action to look forward to on Tuesday evening at quarter past 10 and Man United host Brighton. In some local football news now, our fixtures to look forward to in the round of 32 in the Ned Bank Cup coming up tomorrow, Saturday, that is at 3 p.m. It's Royal AM against Cape Town City. And at 6 p.m., Chiefs host TX Galaxy. And in Sunday action at 3 p.m., it's Maruma Gallants against Santos FC. Moving to some rugby news now, the United Rugby Championship still in full swing this weekend in South Africa's round of fixtures. At 3 p.m. it's the Lions against the Stormers and at 5 past 5 it's the Bulls against the Sharks. And in some cricket news, in case you missed it, Cricket South Africa on Wednesday announced the finalised dates and venues for the Proteas men's inbound tour against Bangladesh. The tour will consist of three, uh, three matches. Uh, the Betway One Day International and a two-match Betway Test Series across four venues from 18 March to 12 April. Supersport Park will host two of the ODI matches with the third taken by Imperial Wanderers, while the coastal cities of Durban and Port Elizabeth will host the test fixtures. And finally now moving to the world of golf to look forward to this weekend, just the US PGA Tour, we have the WM Phoenix Open um, at Williamsport. Good morning, North Coast Sport. You have yourself an awesome sporting weekend and we'll catch you back here next week. At Tine Tien's Kruifproofdes Belito, we offer an array of convenient services for our clients. With an in-store, fully operational business center. All under one roof, Tine Tien's Kruifproofdes Belito is fully stocked with all your leading stationary brands. Proudly Belito for Belito. Welcome back to GMNC this morning and in studio we have a do-gooder overload. We have a collaboration between the Rise Up Movement and Link Foundation. Welcome Joshua, it's good to have you back. Good morning to you, thank you for having us on board. And welcome Sia. Hi, how are you? Thanks for having us. So I believe you two <coughs> gentlemen have collabed into this overload of do goodness Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes? <laughs> so Sia, tell us a bit about the Link Foundation. 
All right. Thank you again for having us, Palito TV, at this morning. So I'm um, really grateful to be here in the studio. Uh, well, it's lovely to have you here, and the work you. that you do is exceptional. So yeah. we're proud to be a part of it. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Basically, what we do at Link Foundation, Link Foundation, it's an NPC. So what we do, we do community development and also youth empowerment right. a, a, a projects. So what we do, we have in-house projects and also outside projects that we do in, in the community. Basically, we deal with uh, rural areas and also townships. So within the campus, within Link Foundation, we do job readiness programs mm -hmm. and also empowerment coaching. Outside of Link uh, uh, Foundation, we do breakthrough, which we run in high schools and also some community activities. So one of the community activities that we do is we empower young, young boys in the community through soccer and also education, because we believe that education is the powerful weapon one can use uh, to change himself and also his community or the nation itself. But through soccer, you guys do leadership and you do team building and there's a whole lot of skills that you do instill in the boys, right? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's exactly what we do. just kind of through play. Yeah. So, right? yeah. And then in terms of the education and the social development side, that's where you guys have stepped in. That's correct. Um, right. Part of the Rise Up Movement element is where we do tuitions. We actually work with uh, underprivileged uh, learners, or I would say underprivileged schools, in providing tuitions on maths, physics, and you know, sciences, and your normal curriculum that is mandated in your classroom. And uh, because I come out from the school background, and we utilize that services in our community. You so just can't get enough of teaching still. Still can't get, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it actually runs in your blood. So we partnered with Link Foundation in CR has got this whole campaign that's mandated with sports. And if you look at it in currently with government schools and so forth, the sports curriculum is like thrown out the door. Mm. We, we really it don't. There's no fun, yes. there's no time, there's no resources. Exactly. Right. So we actually decided, you know, at least bring this together, um, develop our learners through our children in the rural communities with sports, and mm -hmm. from there, bring the education part to help these youngsters, and also do the so-called life orientation of empowerment when it comes to school bullying, comes to uh, social, GB, development, social right? development, gender based violence, domestic violence. We also, when we look at news, we see some schools and these, you know, uh, initiation programs, what is run, it goes way out of context. Yeah. We see young girls, you know, in classroom that's being um, bullied and, you know, that kind of thing. So we want to groom these youngsters up. And okay. we're starting up this program in Shaka Z. Yeah. And <laughs> from Shaka Z, we want to take it throughout Kwadakuza yeah. and oh, build nice. up this entire entity yeah. together. Well, as all your initiatives, it sounds, I mean, remarkable. What no. you're trying to do here is, is outstanding work. No, thank you. It's just that we have, we have actually been through that road of awareness, awareness when it comes to human rights violation, when it comes to, you know, kids being abused awareness and you know and everyone goes on about uh you know what can we do what or what is this person doing or what this organization is doing or what government is doing mm -hmm. this year we decided to look at accountability so let's be accountable let's do our share in our communities and you know build this entity up and try to assist these young minds and transform these young minds into growing up to be respectable teenagers, men of power, mm. and, you know, have your models and your ethics put in place. Definitely, and I thing. think there's no better way to do it than channeling the energy through sport. I mean, Definitely, yeah. It's such a great physical outlet. Yeah. Exactly. So tell me, but just to jump back into the soccer side of yeah. things, I know you do between 11 and 15, right? Yeah, it's 11 years to, to 15 years. Yeah, for now, for now, because that's the age group that we have managed to, 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 to attract. At the current, at the current. And moment, then, what yeah. do you need to move this forward? Do you need kits? Then I know you have a list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, we do need kit in order to move the the soccer initiative forward. We need kids. We need like cons. We need like uh, bibs, like Balls. all the equipment that we mm. yeah that can that the soccer team use in in trainings. In terms uh, of coaches, are you yeah. fine or are you looking? So for with coaches? also with coaches who are because currently the, the the coach is a young man who's. 15 years old, 
the oh, one wow. he's, he's the one who's training them so he's the one who started the soccer team so as the link foundation we came in as a support system right. to support the initiative that he's doing so definitely for sure other coaches we do need other coaches who can train these young men and also be the voice in in these young boys whom we're trying to to, to nurture to become better human beings definitely yeah. so basically sporting equipment anything to do with soccer yeah. well you're focusing on soccer for yeah, now right definitely and Josh, from your side, what do you need? Do you need any help with anything? Uh, we would love the community to come on board, you know, uh, even if it's just coming there and just rendering your time to motivate these youngsters and so forth, which I know... Uh, Is that a hint to get me to come speak Exactly, there, um, you Josh? and the full crew. <laughs> and, and Belito TV and, you know, you guys have been awesome in all our initiatives and so forth. And we would like to get, you know, more of our community to be proactive in this. And, uh, yeah, so... Definitely. Yeah, we look forward to that. Yeah, th mm. I think it's an outstanding um, initiative, you yeah. guys. It's great work again, and a good what a start to 2022. Yeah. Awesome. It's so it's tell it's us, how do we get hold of you, Sia and so Josh? I think we all <laughs> know by now. <laughs> <Correct>. <laughs> Thank you. So my contact number will be 067-083-9635. That will be the contact number. You can WhatsApp or make a phone call on that number. So the email will be sianda at linkchurch.com so yeah that's super thank you thank for you. that and thank you gentlemen for joining us like i say it's an initiative i would definitely stand by yeah thank you. and guys at home i hope you get involved there you have it you can donate sporting equipment you can just motivate the kids you can take part in their development all around <laughs>
um, you know, their, their lives. Uh, you know, a lot, of these, uh, a, lot of the, a lot of these obstacles can seem to be quite uh, daunting at first and mm -hmm. uh, instill quite a bit of fear. And, uh, you know, once the child conquers it, that's, uh, you know, a fantastic learning experience and achievement for them. Definitely, definitely. So that's, that's cool. And you're building confidence and all these other skills, which is, and perseverance, I'm sure. Yes. And what is nice is we go out in a, in a, in a group. Normally, we, we try and keep our groups to about 10 kids. So, you know, you're not going out and doing it alone. I mean, there's a lot of children who are homeschooled who don't have... This, the same interaction as uh, the normal public and private school children have with, with other children. So, mm. you know, they get to ride in a group, make some friends, social have a smile, yeah. socialize. So there's the, there's the social skills aspect of it too. And kids learn best from kids. So That's correct. They encourage and support each other. And we get them outside. Exactly. I mean, Most nowadays that's what we want, right? Yes. Um, we as I've said the before, away. <laughs> as I've said before, there needs to be a healthy balance. Um, so there's no point in having a child that only knows about the outside and doesn't know how to operate a smartphone or a tablet because that is just how technology is going. Mm. But there needs to be a healthy balance. Definitely, I agree. So a bit now with the February heat, and I mean, it brings a bit of concerns, even me as a mom, you know, when you send your kids out. How, what do you think about the riding and the heat? And well, what we've done firstly is uh, we, we changed our coaching times. So we don't coach from 3 o'clock anymore. We coach from 4 o'clock. So that also tends to be a little bit cooler. Much, much um, cooler. Unfortunately, February is just something that we need to persevere so that we don't mm -hmm. have a winter full of frost. D I agree. And, and riding <laughs> in the frost is far worse than riding in the February heat. I, I can attest agree. to that. But I think so, the 4 o'clock switch is a big one anyway. Yes, but y y there, there are other precautions. I mean, obviously, if, the, if it is far too hot to ride, we... we the, the child, the children's safety is always front of mind, mm -hmm. then we would cancel. Definitely. Um, but we, we can adapt around it. So we've got uh, quite a nice gum tree forest not too far away from, from where we start our ride right. with quite, quite a few nice obstacles and single track and whatever. So we'll get the kids into the forest um, in the shade. We make sure they've got sunscreen. We make sure that they've got bottle, water bottles with them that are full mm. before we start the ride. Um, we, we, we stop every couple of minutes or so, and uh, you know, we remind the kids to drink. Hydration is especially important with this. Um, you know, not only during the ride, but then after the ride. And you know, that, that's where the parents come in to make sure that you know, after the ride, they, their children you know, continue to you know, keep their water consumption up so that they don't feel the, the, the effects of dehydration. Definitely. And then in terms of the ride, do they go in different age groups? Yes. Um, not so much age groups as, as much as ability and okay. skills. So your first coaching session is free. You can bring your child along. Um, they can see whether they like it or not instead of, you know, forking out a lot of money and then, you know, your, your child says, well, this is not for me. Mm. Um, we, we have a, a, a massive success rate. Um, you I know, can I imagine. think as soon as they get Sounds on the bike amazing. and they see that it's not so daunting and that it's actually a lot of fun, mm. um, we, we, we normally have uh, parents sign up there after. So, um, yeah. So they, then, um, yeah, we, we take them out, we, we assess them, mm -hmm. and then we will put the child in the specific category. I mean, we've got, we, we cater for beginners, intermediates, and advanced. We've got a racing team as well, so that's for the proper racing snakes for the kids that want to go out there and get podiums at all the, all the local and uh, national races. Nice. Um, but yeah, what we, what we also like to do is, is, uh, is, is have our kids progress. Mm. So, you know, there, there is always a path. As you, as you get a bit fitter and a bit more confident on the, on the uh, obstacles at Harlech Trails, we move you up into the next uh, group and uh, so you go. So they see a bit of progression as well. Yes, and I mean, most of our racing team started as, you know, four-year-old kids just off training wheels and uh, progressed from that into, you know, winning SA champs, winning um, enduro events, which are highly technical events, um, you know, winning marathon events. So, yeah, there, there is definitely a, 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 a progression through the club. Sounds awesome. And in terms of events at the club, have you had anything recently? Are you planning anything? We had the first um, provincial enduro series on Saturday, this previous Saturday. Right. Um, 
two of our kids w from our racing team won their age groups. Oh, wow. Yeah, Troy Cole, he won the sub-juniors, and Christopher Mason, my son, so I can get to brag a bit, <laughs> he won the, uh, the, the, the uh, Sprogs category. So that was a fantastic result. Um, this Saturday, 12th of February, is the Wartburg Classic. It's the first time it's been held in two years with the um, COVID restrictions. Fantastic race, um, quite close to us, so it's an, it's an easy day trip. Oh. And uh, the nicest thing about the Wartburg race is all the German ladies bake cakes. And German oh. cakes are fantastic. <laughs> so there's something to look forward to. Nice route. Um, we've got our racing team um, entered in that. We also have encouraged our, the rest of our club to come along and, uh, and uh, participate. Nice. And then uh, the weekend after that, the 27th of, oh, sorry, the 20th of February is the first KZN XCO. That's more for our racing snakes. It's a cross country event. That's uh, an all out race sure. for about okay. 45 we'll minutes. Have to work our way up to that one. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and then the uh, 27th of February is the Car Kloof Classic, which is out uh, just the other side of, uh, well, it's, it's just outside of Howick. Okay. So other side of Maritzburg, which is mm -hmm. also a very nice race. The uh, rogue races, like the, the Wartburg and the Carcliff Classic, they have distances from 10 kilometers to 65 kilometers. So, you know, even our, 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 our more beginner kids can come along, ride the 10K with mom and dad. There's trail run options for mom and dad too. Nice. So everybody can get involved. So it's a family thing as well. Yes, oh, it, it is. sounds awesome. It really does. And for people that don't know where you guys are, would you like to just tell us where you are, how to get hold of you? Sure. On, on social media, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, the Sugar Rats Club on uh, It has Instagram. to be somewhere close to Sugar Rush, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sugar Rats on uh, Facebook. Our website is www.sugarrats.co.za. Mm -hmm. And as you've rightly said, our physical location <laughs> is, is, is right across from uh, Sugar Rush Park. We uh, operate from the Cane Driving Range right yeah. across the road. Perfect. Sounds awesome. So all the best for the events coming up. Thank you very thank much. thank you for joining us again. Yeah, thank you very much for having me, and I'm sure I'll be on soon to keep you updated how we did on the rest of the events. Super. And I hope you guys go and find them. They sound like they have their rides in order. It sounds really good. It sounds fun. Good fun for the family. And of course, if you're professional, there's a spot there for you too. Wij willen de gas en drive focus ons op ons cliënten. Vriendelijke en doeltreffende dienst is wat ons anders maakt. Ons werk is een span met integriteit en deerzichtigheid. Hier biedt ons cliënten onvergetelijke ervaring en werkt ons met de beste belang van ons cliënt. Ons lever niet producten aan ons cliënten, ons lever ook volledige dienst, besluiten onderdelen en technische ondersteuning. Lovely people. Now let's see what we have coming up this weekend for all things entertainment. Starting up this evening, we have Esther Noid who will be at Yami from 6 p.m. Johnny who will be at Hops. And if you're in the Lifestyle Center, Gavin Ferguson will be in the market. And Hail Mary will be at Eat Street from 6.30. Then moving on to Saturday, Com Rodriguez will be at the Shungreni Farmers Market.
market if just if you're heading out of town a little bit then we have a maker's market at the lychee orchard kicking off at 9 a.m that is always such a fun day for the family then moving on to hops at 6 p.m daniel jenkins will be doing the entertainment and a fabulous job he always does then moving on to the market Kelly Thompson will be there at 10 a.m., Quiet Storm at 12.30, Tian at 6 p.m. Then around the corner at Eat Street, Dave Stark will be there from 12.30 and ending off on the Black Lapels from 6.30. Then we have Sunday Fun Day. As always, I like to start at the Soul Sunday Sessions at Crusaders. And what a great lineup we have, starting on Freddie L., Gemma Kate and Cam Lane, and ending on the situation. Over at Hobbs, James Freedom will be entertaining you there in the afternoon. Then we will be moving on to the market, and Tara Blake on violin will be there, followed by Josh Devine. And on Eat Street, we have Afritude from 1 p.m. Now, that would usually be it but let us remember that monday is valentine so if you are looking for somewhere romantic to go for dinner uh, at each street we have quiet storm from 6 p.m i wish you all a fantastic and safe weekend i'll chat to you soon Hi, I'm Steve Bezadenote, owner, director of Hydropower based in Belito. We're a power products company that specialize in hydraulics, power products, and power tools. We are distributors of quality brands such as HVD hydraulic components, Briggs & Stratton lawnmowers, brush cutters, generators, and Metabo power tools. Our target market is the construction and civils industry, transport and freight, agriculture, and mining industry. So whether you need a hydraulic pump for your tipper truck, a commercial ride-on mower for your estate, a power drill for your construction company, or just a domestic lawnmower for your home, we are a one-stop shop. We offer sales, consumables, repairs, and services on all these products. We're based at 8A Kailami Park, Belito, and also ship goods nationally. You can get in contact with us via various channels, namely WhatsApp, the landline, email, website, Facebook, Instagram or LinkedIn. Welcome to Relax Inn. Situated in the heart of KwaZulu Natal's Dolphin Coast, nestled on two acres of beautifully manicured gardens with panoramic ocean views and within walking distance of the pristine shores of Sharkas Rock Beach. Our dining restaurant offers a mouth-watering menu and caters not only to hotel guests but local residents too. Our venue is perfect for your fairy tale wedding destination with an outdoor garden chapel seating up to 200 guests and a 300 seater ballroom, ideal for receptions, corporate conferences and functions. Secrets Health Beauty and Day Spa offers guests the opportunity to escape, unwind and feel rejuvenated. Our accommodation is tailored to the discerning business traveler, holiday maker, and perfectly suited for that romantic getaway. We look forward to welcoming you to the Relax Inn. to another show of the Draft Times, brought to you by CMH Motor City, big building down at the end of Moffat Drive that I've told you about many a times. Come have a look there. We've got Ford downstairs. We've got Renault with the new Clio that's just come in. Come have a look. We have Nissan, which we're going to speak about next week and a little bit later. Upstairs, the top floor where everything happens, we've got Suzuki and Mitsubishi, the way of the samurai. We've got our restaurant, Luso. Come have a coffee or something nice off the menu. Get your hair done at Sharon or your nails at Dandelion. We've got CMH Select, and today we've got our good friend back on the show, Sheldon Tonkin. 
Welcome, Sheldon. How Whoa, are you? How are you doing, Santos? Hey, you know what? A bit of a mouthful I'm learning there. Eh? I, absolutely, man. <laughs> Thanks for having me back on the show. Thank you. It's been a while. You always, you know, you're the guy we can always go to when we need to get some action about fast cars. Yes, yes. Let's talk about fast cars today. We well, have a super snake that I've we been waiting gonna, for someone from Belito to come and get from us. We're going to go and, and have a look at it. We are going to go and have a look at it in ah, a bit. Absolutely. I'm excited yeah. about that. But downstairs, I see there's a lot of activity going on in the industry with no cars, people running around, and now yeah. they're coming to upstairs to buy cars. They are. We, look, we're also struggling with stock. Yeah. So if anyone even just wants to sell, I just want to get the word out there. If you want to sell your car privately, visit the dealership. And we'll give you a price then and there. And if we buy the car from you, we'll pay you on the spot. Yo, just ask for Sheldon, ask for Ellen, ask for Rian, or ask for Lionel. That's and we'll definitely have a look at your car. And of course, yeah. Yeah, the guys have said lately, and a lot in the past, there's no stock in the market. Come have a look. You know, buy something or sell something. Just sit down in the coffee shop and have something. That's it. Have a steak. Have a, uh, a sandwich. <laughs> steak. We'll, uh, uh, we'll steak buy your car from once you. Week there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's weird how it's changed. We were going to buying cars. Yeah. Not just selling cars. So we Correct. actually are looking for people who just want to sell the cars. We've bought some cars from, from people who are leaving the country. Yeah, I saw all those chimneys that you guys got those from, chimneys, the yeah. from the from the chimney club. Yeah. Even that big land cruiser, the customers yes. left the country and that's he sold it to us. Yeah. How much is that land you're going for? That land is going for about 900000 right. yeah. That's if you want to go travel Africa. If you want to travel Africa, that's the one to that's go for. Car. Absolutely. Uh, very basic, but I mean, I No, well, look, there's about 300,000 rands worth of extras. The previous owner has, been, has put a heavy duty gearbox in there, spaces, lift kit. He's done so much to that car. If you go out into the desert, you have peace of mind that you're coming back. So, yeah. Oh, fantastic. That's one of those, those um, real enthusiast cars. We need to come and have a look at that. But Absolutely, yeah. Well, I, I know we had a look at some stuff earlier. We chatted down at, down at the showroom floor. I think, I think we should go and have a look at what we've got to offer there. Yeah, absolutely. Let's yeah. go through and have a look at some of the cars that we still have on the floor. Let's I take a drive he, down. Where did you come in? We, we I came in a Golf GTI. Let's so take a drive down to the studio it. and have a look. Let's All do right. it. Oh, not the studio, the showroom. The showroom, <laughs> yeah, we're in the studio now. We'll see you guys there. <laughs> yeah, right, we are, we are CMH Select, CMH Belito. Here's our famous restaurant, Lusa. And let's have a look here. What's this noise over here? What's going on? Yo, 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 yo. Yo! Absolute monster. How's it going? Hey, Ryan. Ryan. Here from CMA Select, Belito. Uh, welcome to our uh, showroom. What an absolute beauty we got here. Mercedes Benz G63. 2015. Absolute machine. 5.5 liter V8. 400 kilowatts. 716 Newton meter of pure torque. You guys, uh, you guys gotta come and get this thing. 1550. And you One five fifty 50 is a 50 song drive. all day. This is a boss. This is a presidential car. This is the, the security driver. This is the epitome of luxury, sir. Amazing, amazing. Absolutely. What's yeah. that next to there, Ryan? Yeah? The on-road and off-road. I mean, you've got everything here. And I mean, if you want to if you want to make a statement, get yourself this baby. This is the one, eh? Absolutely. And yeah, what we got here, Ryan? Porsche McCann. Porsche McCann. I don't want to talk about that yet. Beautiful charcoal, 19 inch rims. Absolute beauty. This is one of the cleanest Porsche McCann GPS that you can get with the beautiful dark interior, your Alcantara roof lining and uh, an absolute fear, the, the, the instantaneous response. I mean, Porsche is just absolute. Fear. Something else say Porsche, this one, so, huh? Get this ugly for 2018 Porsche McCann GTS, only 47 on o'clock, 1.219. Proper, proper, this one. This, this is something special, Rian. Tell us about this one. 2011, only 28,000 Ks in the club. This is a low mile, eh? 28,000 Ks. One of the cleanest GTRs that is basically on the market currently. Really well looked after. Muscular horses, pure adrenaline. Open the door first, let's have a look there. Very nice, look at this thing. Nice Recaro seats, a two ton leather. And um, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Let's let's go have a look here. I believe Sheldon's got something. How's it going? How are you keeping? What's Sheldon? Have we got a special for today? Our specials on Friday. Hopefully, we can do uh, steak, egg, and chips. Or... Steak, egg, and chips for lunch, guys. Come down to the restaurant yet today. All afternoon, we got steak, egg, and chips. That's the special of the day. Other M4 over here. What's that noise in the back there? So 
Sheldon. No wonder they called you Sheldon Shelby. Wow. Sheldon, what we got here? We have here the Shelby Mustang. It's a 2017, one of my favorite looking cars on the floor. Definitely my second favorite driving car that we have on the floor. Got a full kit the Shelby. No expense spared. Very, very beautiful car right here. Absolutely. And she's going for us here only one and a half. She's going for one and a half million. It's absolute value for money. If you're looking for a supercar with the budget, this is the one to go for. But it's also collectors. You don't see many of these on the road. Man, you can't put a price on passion and beauty. No, that you can't, Sheldon. That you can't. Yeah. I think this is one of the better Fords for me. Definitely a very nice vehicle. But I see you've got something here. What's this? The way of the samurai here? That is the way of the samurai. That is one of the trap bikes that is owned by our manager, Alan. No way. Um, so yeah, he should be taking this thing out on the trap real soon. As you can see, no indicators, no rear view mirrors, no... It's a, it's a complete trap bike. And that's the boss's bike. And that's the boss's bike. Yeah, all the box, the boss has got taste, you know, Suzuki is the way of the samurai. That's why he's on the top floor. Stens, thank you. And lastly, what do we have here, Sheldon? We have, this is a TCR, uh, GTR. This is a very yeah. rare car. We, we've discussed this car. One eh? of 300 in South Africa. This is number 187, I see. Number 187, that's right. The traditional red and black with the bucket seat. Hey, how's this thing? How's this thing? Can I sit inside it? Have a seat inside, man. Let's so have I a look. Take this for a drive, not just Let's inside. have a look here. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let me see. Let me see. Have a look. Have a look. I'm not a golf fan, but I'm telling you, if it's one of 300, it's not something that I'd look at. Is it like on a launch control or something? It doesn't. Uh, this, was, yeah, this is a complete driver's car. They've spared a lot of weight, so they've shaved a lot of weight off this car to get it into... So it's still an everyday car. As you can see, it still has the rear seat for the family. You can still drive it every day. But Very it's a good nice. performance car. Same performance as what the Golf R is, just the front wheel drive with the energy. How's that? Nice. I like that, eh? That TCR, that Very is nice. Very nice. One of 300. Definitely. Absolutely. So that's a TCR, one of 300. And then on this side, we've got a GTR, one of probably 300,000. <laughs> All right, guys. Sheldon, let's get back to the studio. All right, great. All right, let's go. What car are we going to go in? Should we pull out the Shelby? I think we should pull out the shelf. I think I want to go in the Porsche. Porsche. Let's do it. Let's get the keys and let's go. All right. See you guys back in the studio. Yeah, the studio. Woo! Wow. That was something else, eh? I like that Porsche. That was the drop top. That was the drop top manual. Yes, 2007 uh, model. What a car. What a car. You drove it like you stayed, didn't you? I, of course I drove it like a... <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> No, you never do that. <laughs> Gotta that's respect that. the car like that. Yeah. Exactly, very yeah. nice. And you know, talking about something earlier, I know when we were at the, sh at the, at the showroom and we revved the, the snake, um, you know, I must tell the people when they come there, it's not, I would agree, it's not a car you get in and just start revving it. Cold no. rev, I mean, it's yeah. like, come we, on, let's rev the car. We warmed the car first Good. before we revved it a bit. But yeah, that kind of engine, you want the oil to start get going in the engine before you even start revving it. Yeah. Correct. So, that, so that's let it run for a few minutes and then rev it. It's, it's, it's a performance car at the end of the day. Yeah. Exactly. That's what you need to explain to the people. They can just come and start revving cars. Yeah. Let them idle, let them go. And there's some lovely yeah. cars you've got there. I mean, that car sounds amazing just idling. You don't even have to rev it. Absolutely. Yeah. As yeah. I've spoken, we've spoken about the snake. Yeah. Um, it's been undercover. It's time to get it out and get it sold. Absolutely. It's looking yeah. for a home. Yeah. It's looking for a home. And it's yeah. tax year in coming up. You spend your money. That's it. Spend your money. It's almost for school year. End. Exactly, exactly. Sheldon, and otherwise for the community, I see you've been involved with some things too. Oh yeah, some sporting events. We did a nice exhibition to raise some funds for for boxing Bolito oh, okay. um, and Fit Twenty Four Gym. It was fun to, to yeah, just to be a part of it. It was a nice, like I said, exhibition. You were there. You saw yeah, the fights. Yeah, so it's nice for those yeah. who want to get fit. Go and see the so guys. Yeah, it's, not, boxing it's nice to get involved to... with the community as well. Yeah. Meet some new people, network. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. We've got to get Del Sheldon sponsored there. You did pretty well. You, you did a good fight, so I was impressed. I, I did a good fight against a great opponent. Sure, yeah. uh, exactly, very, very good. both of yeah. you. I take my hats off to you. It's something I don't, you know, exercise in. Yeah. <laughs> but John, no, thank you again for filling in. And, uh, you know, people get a hold of you. Yeah, no, come visit us at CMH Polito. Like you said, with a big building um, down at the end of Moffat Drive That's on the top it. floor. Yeah, come visit us. Or just uh, Google. We're an auto trader as well. Oh, awesome um, yeah, but CMH Polito, you'll find us. Fantastic, guys. Thank you. And that's Sheldon. Sheldon Shelby, as I like to call him. So next week, we've got a very important show. We've got local driver, racing car driver, 
Ryan Blaine's coming on the show with his, he's the navigator, and his driver, um, Daniel, all the way from Germany, um, who represented uh, Nissan and our uh, racing team in the Dakar that happened. So they'll be on the show next week. Catch us for an epic edition, and we'll see you then. Have a safe weekend. Come for steak, egg, and chips at the top floor. Ciao. Page. You like queuing to pay electricity? <laughs> Don't think so. Vodapay. Wait, so I can use it? Even if I'm on another network. Vodapay. Off to do the monthly shopping. <laughs> it's done. Really? Yeah, Coco. And we get rewards. You like sending and receiving money now, now? How about when the combos communicate? Vodapay. Introducing Vodapay, the one app for anything and everything. Like it, Vodapay it. Thank you for joining us this morning on GMNC. It certainly has been lots and lots of fun here in the studio. I'd like to thank our guests, viewers and sponsors. And please stay tuned for the music video. It's going to be by Gian Groen. Enjoy and have a fabulous day. Van haar hart, waar die winter vieren brandt. In die nachten, voor die zomer leen wacht. Ze giet haar tranen aan die zee en stier haar woorden meer in wind. En na die stranden van lang vergeten smaak. Zij zoenen kan niet meer die winter aan jou oor Waar het ek jou verloor Vier zij zoenen kan niet meer die liefde aan jou palo Kijk jou oceane ons kalo Vier zij zoenen kan niet meer Zij zoen haar kant Stier mij nog een boskaart mee De wind Ze maak van mij op een ting van die herfst Als die akkerbomen rust En die wolken soos vlammen oor ons waai 
Ze geven mij een zoet september geel Als die boerland leeg in bloei Dan met die zomer wat klop hier aan mij deur Vier seizoenen kan niet meer die winter in jou oor Waar het ek jou verloor Zij zullen kan met die liefde in jou palen. Kijk jou oceanen en stellen. Vier zij zullen kan, vier zij zullen kan. Stuur maar nog een boska. Postcard, man, you 